We begin with breaking news tonight. We have confirmed that Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is asking her entire cabinet to resign by the end of the day as she approaches her 100th day in office this week. 11 Alive's Faith Abube is live at City Hall tonight. Faith, according to the city's website, there are 19 people in the cabinet, including the police chief, city attorney, commissioner of watershed management. And from our understanding, this affects all of them. Is anybody at City Hall talking about it? Well, the mayor's office has officially not made any statement on this big breaking news just yet this afternoon. Her office right over my shoulder on the second floor here, despite telling us over and over again this afternoon that the statement is coming so far, we have not received that statement. But we are talking to council members here at City Hall, one telling me this decision by Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is startling. He told me that when people walked in this morning to City Hall, no one had any idea that this news News was coming. We have video for you of pictures of the department heads across the city who are affected by this and hopefully we'll be able to show you that video coming up a little later in the show. But there are several cabinet members across the city, all of them affected by this. According to the city's website, more than a dozen of them. We're talking the police chief, uh, the uh, Atlanta watershed management director and a host of other people who are tonight writing their uh, resignation letters to Keisha Mayor Lance Bottoms. A source in Inside City Hall tells 11 Alive that this decision has always been the plan. The mayor has always said that she would reevaluate her cabinet after 100 days in office. And as you know, that's coming up this week in just two days. So this is not unusual, according to that source inside uh, City Hall. Now, the mayor is not commenting on this and the communications office telling us they're not going to make her available to comment on this. But earlier today, 11 Alive did speak with the mayor and she did allude to big changes here at City Hall. Take a listen. There are some steps that will be announced this week that we are already taking um, that I think will go a long way in helping to create confidence um, and reinstate confidence from the public. And we're told that this mayor will decide who, whose resignation letter to accept, whose resignation letter to reject. And it's not unclear right now whether that decision has already been made. But we did want some historical perspective on this. So I, I called former mayor Sam Massell to ask him about this. And he's telling us this is not unusual. This has been standard operating procedure here at City Hall since the mid-1970s. A mayor has the authority to fire cabinet members and appoint her own people. But he said before the 1970s, the mid-1970s, that that was not the case. The city's charter did not give the authority to the mayor to fire cabinet members. In fact, those people were tenured for four to six years. They had terms that sometimes overlapped with um, several mayors. So uh, that's unusual in that sense that the charter changed. But he says he liked the previous charter because it took politics out of the equation. It was healthy for the city of Atlanta. And and um, he says he would like to see that back. We're talking to him. And also coming up tonight, we're talking to city council members, getting their reaction on this big news that's breaking here at Atlanta City Hall. Of course, we'll bring you the latest and hopefully we'll have that official statement from the mayor's office coming up hopefully by six o'clock. Faith and Bube at City Hall, a lot of information yet to garner on this. Thank you, Faith. And right now our news team is contacting every single member of the mayor's cabinet to get their response. And as we're here back from them, we'll be posting all that information on 11alive.com. We'll be sending it out through our push alert on the 11alive app as well.